A standard usage of the synthesizer is to take your, for example, first oscillator, which we have set to a 16-foot sawtooth wave, and then adding a second oscillator, which we have set to a, an 8-foot square wave. Okay, that's two oscillators in unison, well, actually not in unison, an octave apart with two different waveforms. And then we'd throw on the third oscillator. Let's put it down low. That's a very standard stacking of oscillators that we usually do. Now, there is more that we can do than just this. We have control over the octave and the pitch and the waveform. But instead of just mixing three oscillators all atop each other in unison or in octaves, we have other timbral design options, other audio synthesis options. We can take a more additive route. So again, here's our first note. That's the first oscillator. Let's add the second oscillator, but let's do something a little different. Let's tune it up to a fifth. Uh, pretty, also a pretty traditional synthesizer sound, but let's do it a little bit different. Let's take the volume down so that it's not so much uh, another oscillator stacked on an oscillator, but rather a timbral change to the first oscillator, which sort of mimics how harmonics work. We'll take it completely out of the mix and then add it back, but not loud enough to be its own oscillator, but rather that it sounds like a harmonic of the first oscillator. You don't actually hear it as a second oscillator. You hear it as a timbral difference in the first oscillator. Keeping in mind that that's a, a fifth above and not a, a unison or octave. Actually, it's more than a fifth above, but anyway. So let's do this again with the third oscillator. We have it on a triangle wave and I put it up to four feet. Let's make it a third. Like, if, you know, obviously there's a th that's two different pitches playing. But let's take it down out of the mix and just bring it up so it flavors the first oscillator. It doesn't sound like there's a third or a fifth above that note. It just comes across as a different timbre to us. And that's how harmonics work. So let's listen to the original. And then our change. And you end up with something that sounds like a unison note or a single note that is actually made up of different frequencies at different amplitudes stacked atop, just like harmonics work. And that's a way you could better implement your oscillator section in a more additive fashion. Remember, additive synthesis is where you actually choose harmonics and stack them in a way to generate new timbres without a filter. And that's basically what we're doing. These synthesizers are so often described as subtractive, but they do have additive, po additive possibilities, and it's a great way to make use of your oscillator.